What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Next Gen Podcast. It's your host, Destiny, a.k.a. Griffith Kid, and I'm here with... Joshua Fontenot. Okay, Joshua, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing all right. You know, I'm kind of nervous because this is my first, you know, being on the podcast, so I'm kind of excited at the same time. Oh, man, I'm glad to hear that, man. Appreciate you for coming through, man. Appreciate you for coming through. For sure. Uh, for those who... For those who don't know, man, how, can you uh, introduce yourself real quick? Uh, my name is Joshua Fontenot. Um, I'm a 2026 graduate at Prairie View a and so a student, pretty much what I'm saying. PV? PV, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right, man. Yo. What's, uh, what's your major, man? Uh, communications, but um, I'm going to minor in sociology. Sociology, okay, that's fly, that's fly. Uh, why are you learning in sociology? Sociology, um, you know, back at home, you know, I be telling my mom, you know, these social problems and what be going on, going on in the world, and so I be like, you know, telling her like solutions as to like how to fix them problems. Right. And um, you know, it's it's been a big you know dream of mine just to you know make an impact in the world. Uh, you know, inspired. I was like inspired by Mr. Beast. Of her? Yeah, not too long ago, he uh, he did a video where he uh gave uh people in Africa water. Of her. And I was like, yo, that is dope. Like the government, like the government, be saying like they've been trying to you know give Africa you know water, but they haven't been doing it for like past couple of years. And so seeing like just one individual just. Creating that big Africa, uh, that big impact for Africa just to have water and all that stuff, like, that that just shows that (laughs) (laughs) it can take, like, anybody can, like, anybody can just, you know, if they put their mind to it and they just dedicate it just to, you know, do it, bro, you can can pretty much do anything in the world, pretty much. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah. Ironically, I, I did see that video, and not and not, I was I was also amazed too. I was just like, "Whoa, okay, this yeah. nigga's really about his business, man." <laughs> that's something that I didn't think he was ever. I never thought he would actually, you know, do anything like that. But when you saw when I saw that, kind of it's probably inspired me in some way, man. That mm-hmm. made me want to do it more too. Um, for, for those that don't know you know, know you, the, what? Besides being a you know a student at PV, man, what are your other gigs? Like my other gigs, um, I, I know you got like a what's it called? You got a show, man. That uh, oh yeah, um, so pretty much I'm doing volunteer work as to you know working on the shows, make sure it's running good and all that stuff. And pretty much what I do is um, for this one show. It's called um, Panther Sports Zone, and you can just find it on YouTube at KPV, KPVU TV. That's where you can find it on YouTube. And so, um, so what the show pretty much is, we just go over the rundowns of sports as to what it as to where what is going on in like PV. And so, I pretty much work on you know the sounds. The you know the controls as to what you see on screen, and um, you know I just work on the sets, and uh, I'm working on I'm volunteering to uh, working on this other show. It's called the um, the Zone, All right? And so, what's, I, what's that about? If you my man, so the Zone is. It's pretty much a show where, um, you know, we got a uh, song called The T. And right. so it goes over, you know, celebrity drama uh, that's uh, going on right now. And, um, you know, not too long ago, we did like a Houston theme, right? And, uh, you know, and it was like for, for the... Um, just to give respect to, you know, DJ Screw, who, you know, passed away not too long ago. And, you know, yeah, it's kind of sad because, you know, I'm from Houston. And so it, it just gives us chills every time you just 
say his name because you know he was a big impact for like you know people for like Houston in general and his culture. And um, you know, I just I just be there, just uh, you know, fixing up the sets and all that stuff. The you know the people that run the show, I just let them you know run the controls and sounds and all that stuff. But you know. It, you know, as a communications major, you know, it's it's very good just to, you know, be around people that's, you know, the same majors as me. Right. And, you know, it's, it's I have a good time. Okay, man, that's good, that's good. So, it would be fair to say that you're, like, more, like, behind the, the scenes, like, you take care of the major, the important stuff and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much I'm <laughs> behind the camera. But um, I mean, cause I ain't go. I, I'm like I'm a big fan of those type of things. So like you know, I like this. I watch a show, right? Mm-hmm. Like let's say, um, um, Supernatural, right? Right. It's a it's a old show. I don't know if you know <laughs> or not, but yeah. So I watch that show, right? And then I'd be like amazed on like the behind the scenes or how like certain things are set up, and like how 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 this affects this to make it you know make it look like the way it is and all that you right. know what I'm saying so I, I'm almost I always love behind the scenes of of certain I work for the uh, shows movies or just you know comedy stand ups you know what I'm saying this, right. and cause that's what like I feel like you, they, they don't get enough uh, praise or pro, you know recognition you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah. So I was, I'm always amazed when people do something like that. So you definitely got to let me check out for one time whenever you are doing your thing. Man. I definitely want to see that, man. For sure. Um, being, being your at PV, man, what, what has, um, what has it given you, like, as a, as a costume? Or no, I don't say costume, but like just a person, John. Like, what has PV, being your at PV done for you and what does it to you, like? Um, uh, man, it's I I've been through like a whole a whole lot, man, and you know it's it's kind of it's kind of frustrating and it kind of makes me mad, you know, just thinking about those things. But I just see it as a you know a blessing, you know. First, first off, like I just want to thank my mom just for you know just just be just to be willing to like you know take the time just to, you know, take me here. And it's truly ha- it's truly a blessing just to, you know, have a mom in your life that just that just loves you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I and to out the ones that, you know, struggling with their parents, man, I, I pray for y'all. Like y'all deserve better. For real. And uh moving forward, like, you know, it's you know, you learn a lot of things. As to, you know, when it comes to being an adult, because you're by yourself, you ain't got no parents that just tell you, hey, wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying, it's time for school, you know, you got to do those things all by yourself, and you know, and kind of college is pretty much prepare you for, you know, you know, having a job, you know what I'm saying, like you got to get up, and then you got to get up uh, and then just work work just to get that money you know there's no excuses right it's no no you got to get to it the distractions you know they just there but you just got to as a person or as, as an adult you got to you know to ignore those distractions distractions I'm sorry and you know just just move forward in life and just tackle the tackle as to what's important because you know, you know everybody you know wants to have their little fun, you know what I'm saying. But you know when it comes to an, to an important things, you know you you got you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused, and that's why and that's why I respect Michael B. Jordan mm. because like you know he said he didn't really have a childhood because he was focused on the important things. Works, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I kind of want to apply that to my life as to where I can, like, focus on what I need to do so then I can be successful, so then I can, you know, fulfill those dreams that I have that I want to do. 
No, I feel you. I feel facts. I want to speak up Michael B, man. There was um there was a uh he had an interview, right? Mm-hmm. And one of those interviews he said he always felt like where other cats were uh partying and you know, having a good time and all that. Yeah. He was, you know, grinding and working putting in the work. Mm-hmm. He had the like the the leverage. Yeah. Which when I thought we we playing the video, right? Mm-hmm. Or whatever, I was like, damn, that is right. If other people are partying them over here working, yeah. I pretty much got the I had the advantage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, not that like, you know, and I, I could also relate to that too because I don't really do that no more, really. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I start like uh, maybe yeah you know, when I turned you know after high school really pretty much after mm-hmm. high school I was pretty much just been focused on trying like evolve mm-hmm. I mean but that as in like uh, change the way I think about certain things change the way I talk change the way I do certain things to just become a better version of myself you right. know what I'm saying. And look, and by all means, I ain't saying people shouldn't party and not that, you know, you, you know, you, know you, you should have a good time and not that. I'm just saying that, like, my, where my mindset is right now, I don't have no interest in really doing that. Like, like I'm the type of friend that'll be like, hey, if you're going through something, man, we could talk about it. Yeah. Or, you know, we, we do something, like, take, take my off and, like, I'll keep it with you. I can't be the, I'm not be the one. Like, if you want to go party and know that I'm not the best, you know, the best person, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, not, that's not me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I'll be like, I'll be the one to one man. I got to talk to you about something, bro. I'm like, okay, what's up? Where is it? You know what I'm saying? I'll joke here and there, but then if it's sounds unreal, like, I'll, you know, I'll keep it, I'll keep it with you and know that. For but, sure. you know, and, and, and my focus right here, where, you know, why I do this podcast is also to get people like yourself, you know, talk about certain things like these, you know, where, mm-hmm. There's not a whole like you know we get a lot of, like we have a lot of podcasts you know what I'm saying like you know, Joe yeah. Rogan's uh, to the, you know and, and all that right? right but there's no not that I could think of at least that like they're in their twenties and they're doing these type of podcasts where they talk they, uh, we can relate to them you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and I feel like um, the one the main issues that uh, we we have currently in this generation. Well, for you know, in my um, opinion, too. Right. Now you you could say if you disagree on like that too, because it's a free, you know, yeah, yeah free thing. Um, is men's you know mental health. What I mean by that is young men mental health. You know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. like, I feel like that's not really being talked about, yeah. or it's not really a major concern as to like a, a female or you know, yeah, other things. You know, what I'm saying and 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 if and if a man's going through something, if a young man's going through something, it's going, it's kind of like not being looked. It's not being, it's looked as as a joke. Just based on what I've seen, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I feel you because you know, as a man, we growing up like growing up. You know, like you know, people say like if a man cries, then you know they a be. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of traumatizing. For like a lot of men, because right now people are realizing that the problem with men is like we don't express ourselves enough to where you know it's good for our mental health. Because you know, you know, at times when you have something off your chest, you say something yeah. off your chest, you be like, <sighs> like, like, yeah, you like, yeah, like bro, I, had, I have that, I have that feeling uh, like a few, you know, a few times, man, and uh, it felt really good just. Just like you know, it felt like you know the the load that I had on me, bro, just got lifted off, bro. But mm-hmm. go back to your same, I just had to take what you say on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I saw this this one post on Instagram. On Instagram, it was it was like some type of meme, and so it showed a picture of a guy. Right. You know, he was just it just just uh standing there with a blank face, and it showed like. The inside of his mind, like he got a whole lot of things to say for real. Yeah. While in the outside, you know, he's quiet. So, um, yeah. uh, that's that's really how I can. That's really us right now in twenty twenty three, where like we want to say a whole lot of things, but then, <laughs> but then if we do, man, we feel like you know, we feel like we're gonna be judged, we're gonna be laughed at, yeah. and we're gonna, you know, what I'm saying it's it's not it just no positive, just no benefit from us doing it, but. Yeah, that's yeah. I feel you because, like you know, as a human being, I have I want to say a whole lot of things, but 
you know, as, as to like how the world is and how sensitive it is, it's kind of yes. it's kind of hard just to say what's what's on your mind without having to be judged and then yeah. have threats on social media and and all that stuff. And so I'm like, you know, it's kind of a fear of mine that I got to embrace because you know it's my opinion at the right. at the end of the day, and so I got to stand on that because if I don't stand on that, then it's gonna cause problems for me. And and plus, it's gonna cause a whole lot of confusion as to like what is right and what is wrong right. in particular situations. And um, and I've been thinking that like, what are some ways that that could be can be really fixed about you know a mess with life. Uh, I found out that you know that through you know going to the gym actually it's one of the best one of Really, one of the best, really number one way to mm-hmm. like fix the way you fix the mind, because like when you're working out, you're not really thinking about you know uh, anything other than just going going to the gym. And when right. you do that, you know, so you, your body just you know your body's focused on that, your mind's focused on that. And then you have your priorities, you know, pretty much fixed and and all that. You know what I'm saying? But now this man, man can't even do that no more, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I, like I, be, like I, I, I find it so crazy. Like I've been seeing this uh, videos on on social media where like, uh, man would go to, um, you know, go to to the gym, right? But they, mm-hmm. but the females will have uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 a video of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, look at this creep man, look, look at him and, and not that. Really, man, he just trying to get his, you know, get, get yeah. the dumbbells, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's not even focusing on, on all that. And I'm like, man, that's crazy. You can't even, you just can't even go to the gym where I even feel like, uh, what's it called, man? I really don't want to try to get posted or anything like that. Yeah. Cause I had that same feeling too sometimes when I go to, go to the gym, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, What's it called? I'd I be like, damn, it really be like that. You know what I'm saying? I thought, I th- at first I thought it was like, a, it was just like a, a trend that, that, that go down. And I thought, but I thought I see it more and more. I'm like, and then I should see it in person. And I was like, damn, that shit is look real. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, have you ever experienced that? Have you like noticed that? Like that? Mm, no, not pretty much. I'm just, yeah. I was just getting a little work in and then just, know going on my day after my little workout and so i kind of i kind of developed something okay uh, and that is you know working out without music Mm. yeah yeah because yesterday you know one of my classmates came me came to me and and was like working out without any music is crazy i mean i told her like you get used to it because I've been I've been doing it for like for like a couple of weeks, and so I kind of develop a certain focus, you know, in a way because when I work out and listen to music, you know, I kind of get distracted, right? And it takes longer for me to get out of the gym compared to when I'm I'm not on my phone in the gym. And so, uh, you know, my when I was in high school, you know, you know when we had homework, and I'd be like working late nights trying to finish it. You know, my mom always say like, if you get off your phone, then your work would have been done soon. Soon, uh-huh. when I got your work done real quick, quicker. But and so applying applying to that is like 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 I said with the distractions like. You got you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused. In in college, you know, like I said, it's a lot of it's a lot of distractions. So, uh, trust me, there is a lot of distractions. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot, and not just only college, but you know, life. But yeah, I remember it too. Life too. But in, in college, I feel like there's more. Would it be fair to say there's more distractions in college than? Than uh, outside of college, yeah, it's it's more distractions in in college because like you you surrounded by a whole lot of people right. compared to like when you go outside the world because hardly you don't really <laughs> really care what what's be going around around other people, but in college you got you know connections. 
Excellent. And so, you know, with those connections, you know, they got problems. And, you know, they be, you know, talking about those problems. And then so you be in the mix and then you be trying to help them. And then, you know, it's just drama after drama after drama. And so I kind of I kind of avoid those, you know, those talks and all that stuff, because like to me, I like having like grown folks conversations like what we're doing in this podcast yeah. right now, which I truly appreciate. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I told I, I told you that I was gonna have to have you on my podcast for the one time, but I told you. So for I, sure, it, 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 yeah, it, it, yeah, it, man, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, because yo, know, I like to have like I like to have uh, these type of conversations as well, because not only does it help me uh, how to involve with my uh, presentations, uh, my talking, and and all that, but also helps me understand where you're coming from. Where uh, how you see certain things, you know, saying so we might have, we might have a disagreement about certain things, but right. we're talking about like like grown folks, you know, what I'm saying we don't got time to be fine, we don't got to fight. Exactly. We could just talk about it, man. You know, what exactly. saying like why you bother about that, you know, this and that, you know, what I'm saying have grown folks and cousins. And I feel like uh, going picking on back on what you said about uh, uh, what people think. I think that's one of one of the top five things that uh, us young men face nowadays mm-hmm. that or met, you know males yeah. face nowadays that we, we worry about what people think or like what uh or what or, or what this you know girl thinks about me and this and that yeah. when really it shouldn't really matter what this particular person or or the people people just in general think about you when exactly. it should be only matter what you know, God and your family and people around you, your clo- your your uh your circle. You know, sure. what I'm saying people that you, that you know that know you for for real. Not, not people that just know you, as, you know as, as a classmate. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying because this this is difference. You feel me? Yeah. And like, if I feel like if we focus on just those those three people, you know, those two groups, that mentally things will be a whole lot better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, our focus would be a whole lot changed. Our, our, the way we view things would be a whole lot different. Because I had that thing, too. When I was in high school, I mean, I, I was thinking, I was trying to impress people, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People that I, to this day, I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That I don't really talk to a number, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But because at that time, I was trying I was trying to fit in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And But then I was like, damn, after I left high school, I'm like, damn, what did I get from that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got I get nothing when I really I could just be my whole my whole self and people that you know that are cool with me, that are cool with me, they're not cool with me, they're not cool with me. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um uh have you have you also had experience that too in high school too? Like you try where you try to like, you know, fit in the press. People that you you damn sure never probably not ever gonna meet the next year or two or after high school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. I did plenty of that, and you know, most most of my life because you know, I was a smart kid in class, and so and plus the quiet kid too, and so you know, I would you know do work for other students just to you know try to make a connection. Right. But it's kind. It was kind of rough for me because like I was like wanting to have like them to you know respect me or you know right. give me praise for you know helping them out but i haven't received yeah, that yeah. so that kind of you know I, they kind of made me depressed anyway because i was i was dealing with a lot of depression at the time and so um you know now you know i'm just like your views change a little bit it's I, changed a whole lot yeah it, it yeah. changed it changed like a whole lot you know, I I don't really I don't really care about what people think of me, like you said. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's just the mindset, right? Pretty much because, like, for for example, like I was help, helping it with this one girl, and we was playing like some game where we just make some some where we made a shot in like some weird positions, and so uh, I did the granny shot, and I did it like the ugliest way possible. But the thing is, I made it though. <laughs> Kobe, <laughs> <laughs> she, she said, oh. "She said, oh, why, why you shot like man? That shot was ugly." I said, "I made it though." <laughs> yeah, I got one more in me. <laughs> and so that's and so like that's why I don't. That's why I tell people, don't be cute with it. 
Hey, don't be cute with it. <laughs> hey, 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 do what you got to do to yeah. get to where you need to be or whatever you need need to do. Because like, because like, you know, you know what makes me mad when I see a basketball game. Like, you know, them turn them uh, yeah. tournaments is when they be acting like they Kobe or LeBron James or Kerr. I'm like, come on, man! Like, you ain't none of that stop. <laughs> Just, just stop. <laughs> just, uh-huh. just, just play the fun fundamentals, bro. Like you ain't, you ain't getting no deal, no time soon, and all that stuff. But you know, you know, just, just be you. That's why, that's yeah. why. I tell like when it comes to you know talking with women, women and all that stuff, you don't really need to have like a certain type of game and all that stuff. Just be you. Express who you truly are, and so. And like you said, like if they don't like you for who you are, then just move on. Yeah, and and I think that's that's a not a really uh, another issue today, man. We 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 try to the person, you know, um, certain females, but really the person, the you know, the person that likes you for you is going, you know, what I'm saying it's going to fuck with you. Really, it's mm-hmm. really that simple. Yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like there's no reason for you to do go out all out, out and out there to impress someone that's not may not even be interested. But the person that is interested in you, she, you might do the most simple shit. Yeah. But that's that small thing that you did, bro. That could just you know what I'm saying. That, that could just be enough, man. Yeah. Like she's not even gonna want you to do go out out because she she she's not gonna she's not even be uh, all about that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I, I think that's why we we. We focus we we focus our our more attention on on them rather than our search first. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. uh, I personally believe that currently right now our priorities as you know young men it should be ourselves developing ourselves. Yeah. Focus on what we're trying to build. Mm-hmm. Focus on what we're trying to achieve. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of the same thing, but yeah. really just focus on ourselves. Like, you know, right now, you know, we're in college, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? We have an opportunity that some of our parents didn't have. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we can we can either expand or we can just, or we cannot. You know, so my bad experience, and like, we, think we can we can suck all this in and talk to some people, and some of the uh, you know, other people that have this type of members that are right here, you know, because, you know, opportunities are left and right, you know, Everywhere, you know what I'm saying? It's just about saying, hey, sir, hey, man, ma'am, hey, can I talk to you real quick? I have some questions about this, you know what I'm saying? I have a I have a business. I'm starting to start a business. Mm-hmm. Do you know anyone that can uh, help me with that? Yeah. Or are you in the business? Right. He or she can be like, yeah, I'm in the business. Or I know someone that could be, that's in the business, that I can help you out. Give, let me send you his contact. Or right. let me send you their contact info. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if we don't, you know, if we don't ask, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, for example, um, there's this uh, mentor of mine. It's called, uh, his name is Mr. Freeman. Shout out to him. Yeah. He's uh, in student conduct. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, I'll see him from time to time, man. You know what I'm saying? But one day, I'm uh, blue, man. We just started to, we started to talk. Right. And then we start as we started to talk, man, we started to, you know, understand each other. Mm-hmm. And then when we started, started to, when we stood, stood each other, I we try to have this uh, this bond where like he's like now he's like my like my big brother you know yeah. what I'm saying like if I uh, if I have a question I'll just go to him if I if I just want to you know just to know just that that's to chop out you know what I'm exactly. saying I'll just go to him man he and he just always he would, he would always check on me like man are you okay are you good this and that you know so you don't even have to do that too you know what I'm saying but like the fact that you know uh, that he does it may, makes me you know. Appreciate you know, those type of moments, man, because you know there's not a whole lot, whole lot of people left like that. You know what I'm saying? Like especially with what's going on in the world, where like uh, where we see certain things that are being normalized when they shouldn't be be normalized. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And 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 yeah, that's pretty, um, pretty much it, man. If we would just focus on uh, focus on on mm-hmm. us and yeah. really just going to um, um, going to a gym, yeah. a whole our whole mindset and if they would definitely change because it did for me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Uh, and just to, you know, add to that, like I say building building connections is so not in a 
negative way, but in a positive way. And so what I mean in the negative way is, you know, been in connections, like just like friends with benefits, for example. And, you know, you know, and, you know, friends with benefits relationship is, it's, it's it's not really a good thing, you know. At first, you know, I'll be seeing it on YouTube, you know, see people be doing that and they be acting like it's cool and all that stuff, but like in reality it's it's really not cool if you're not really that guy. And I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so in, in a positive way, I yeah. mean like, you know, expanding relationships that will help you get to your goal way much faster. I'm talking about yeah. You know, good friends, you know, people who, you know, got their own thing going on. And then so they can just, you know, you can build that connection just to uh, spend years, you know, just work together, collab, pretty much what I'm saying. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, it's 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 kind of it's kind of hard just to build those connections, you know, yeah. Uh because like you know you got your friends that you know you be wild like hey what's up how you doing let's get drunk uh smoke or whatever but you know at the end of the day is they you know helping you yeah. into become a better person and so you got to look for those things because if you just ignore it then you will end up into a bad situation or end up with an addiction facts and or something else yeah, and, and and that's something that we don't see a whole lot enough of. You know, so we see a whole lot of, um, of violence or fighting each other, but we don't see a whole lot of beating each other up. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, man, hey, you go into something, bro, I got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, there's no whole like a, a safe haven for you know for for us, man, where we could just talk about certain things, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it amazes me sometimes just that there's more there's there's more of a, a system for you know for females to you know to feel free to talk talk about certain things and not that and like, not and not even be judged you know yeah. what I'm saying but like for a man you know what I'm saying when he's talking about his mental health and and, and all that it's it's kind of in a way it's not taken serious or it's just not really some it's not important basically that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say it's yeah. not really important yeah. to certain degree. not saying that. It's not, but I just view it on 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 uh, you know on the way I see it in, in social media and in real life too, man. You know what I'm saying? That it, it's just looked at as a it's a, that's a thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's what and that's what causes material other problems too, man. You know where we if, yeah. when we focus on trying to impress a certain uh, female, or if we're trying to stand, if we're trying to do this, trying to stand out. And now, and now that it, you know, it changes you. You know, what I'm saying makes you potential when you when you're not who you're not. You know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But if we, if you, if you were to just what's it called, take a take a moment and try to figure out, have a long time. You know, what I'm saying I, I I really think if you know if we had a you know, everyone should have that a long time. Prefer to be better. I speak on men. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's you know, go to them or wherever you are, and just have a good look at yourself. I'm like, who are you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I was trying. Because you know, when I left, you know, when I left high school, right, I I didn't really know who I was. Yeah. You know, so I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know nothing other than graduate and try to impress people that that didn't you know that didn't they didn't really care about me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I took the time to uh, um to breathe and Focus on myself, yeah. my my thought processes, the way I acted, the way I did certain things completely changed. And when I decided to actually go to the gym again, I keep bringing all that because that is one of the key factors that, you know, every man should put in their life. Because not only does it help you develop your body, it also develops your mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I always got to go to the gym, you know no, so I won't say I always go, but but I got to at least you know, got every test I get to, I, I go to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I go, man, it's always a major feeling because I'm not focused on nothing other than getting that that workout. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But once I step out the door, though, you know what I'm saying? I, everything that that you know I have to take care of, you know, they be like, okay, hey, we're here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, let's get back to business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and um 
And I think that's just, um, I don't know what to say, but that's just really it, man. You know, it's just amazing. It just it amazes me sometimes that our priorities have completely shifted, you know, especially in college, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really see a whole lot of, you know, you know young guys, you know, uh, trying to, Trying to bear this. I'm not saying that there's not a whole lot that don't say I'm not saying that, but yeah. what the majority of people that I talk to, man, you know, they, you know, our mindset is just pretty much on have to, having a good time, mm-hmm. this and that, which is okay too. But I feel like we should have to use these platforms that we that we're in, these opportunities that we're in to build connections to talk to people that um, that uh, that could help us with our brand, that could help us in life. And outside of college too, because you know you're only in college for X amount of years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Once you're done with that, man, what you gonna do next? You know what I'm saying? That's why I always like appreciate these moments when I talk to Mr. Freeman, when I talk to Mr. Cyrus, when I talk to these these mentors of mine that help me through my walks, my my journey. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always and I always say this, man. I'm always thankful to you know to God Himself. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. like no lie, because like I personally believe that. I personally feel like that I was here for a reason because I should, I can I can go to like any uh, I can go to TSU or I can go to U of H and you know, just because I had the requirements but yeah. I went to PV mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and 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 you know I didn't know why I was you know, why I was going to a PV mm-hmm. man you know I was just like a new kid in high school you know what I'm saying but after a while I started to see sort of just like I'm like well this is what I was looking for. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying this was how this was like the message I've been looking for. And now that I'm thankful to God, man. I, I know I didn't know at that time, but I'm so glad that I got accepted to PV. I got to meet you know, um, amazing, amazing people. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying, and and those people have are to this day are still you know still helping me out with you know with my uh, with my with my college life and personal life as well. You know, what I'm saying they make yeah. me think about certain things. And and they also pretty much make me mature, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you will never really see me like curse or you know what I'm saying anything like that. Because like not say that people when you curse is is a bad thing, but like I view it now as like it's like the minds and like your 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 knowledge, you know what right. I'm saying? Right. Like it makes you sound not not too smart. You right. know what I'm saying not saying that if you curse you're not smart. That's not what I'm saying. But like mm-hmm. there's other ways you can. That's other words you can say and all that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And another thing too that's really a problem in the male society right now is uh, lack of discipline. Yeah, lack of discipline. I agree. Um, what what I mean by that is, um, if you if you uh, say you're going to do some, you know, you, you should stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If um. If I say, "Hey, man, I'm gonna go to the gym at, at four. I gotta go. Gotta wake up at four. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I say I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out, I gotta, I gotta make sure no matter what I'm doing, hey, I'm gonna, I got, you know, I'm gonna help you out because I said it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because if then if I don't do it, it's like, damn, you said you were gonna do it, and now you're back on your word, and then that causes a whole problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think, um, not, uh, I think that's a discipline. That's what we really, really lacking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, in in, the, in our in the male society, man. What about you, man? Mm, I mean, pretty much what you covered up is pretty much, you know, yeah. you know, problems I I deal with, you know, you know. Um, would you say that you know if men would like just write like every day about you know? What's going on in the world about themselves? Would you think they would be a better person? Because like I have an interest of mine, you know, mm. just writing my thoughts every day. Uh I honestly can't. I don't know. I've I've never tried that. I I I do know for a fact that developing yourself will definitely uh, be beneficial to the necessary. Like mm. again. The discipline. What I mean by that is, you know, if, let's say, if a female, you know, hangs you out or she says something to you, right? Yeah. You have to have discipline 
not to lash out. You know, saying yeah. not being in emotions. Not saying you can't be in emotions, but yeah. when she when that when you're in that particular scenario, because you now I'm in those type of scenarios, right? Mm-hmm. But I always keep myself in check, keep myself calm, composed. Home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when even though when she might say something that may mean that may be a hurtful right to me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I I have to be calm and collected because man, if I lash out right mm-hmm. now. I let my my anger get better of me, and I, I I could potentially do something to her. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That that could have been avoided, or that can that can that didn't have to go that far. When I I if I had no discipline, control, kept myself calm, and then responded in a calm manner. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's something that not a lot you know a, a lot of us young men do nowadays. You know, so we like to lash out at the first sight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We like to, uh, and what's like, and like you said, back to, um, yeah. you know, impress, impressing them too, yeah, because that kind of connects too, as well as you know, saying yeah. like, oh, I can do this for you, da 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 da, you know, yeah. and you know, as young men, we don't usually, we usually jump, like yeah. jump too fast, <laughs> jump too fast, and so we don't really look at ourselves and say, hey. Do I got the things that that would take care of her throughout this whole relationship? Because you know, I do, I do want a relationship, yeah. and that's actually going to be one of my next uh, po- uh, next episode, a uh, topic on my next episode. Yeah, yeah. stay tuned. <laughs> man, stay tuned, man. <laughs> hey man, hey, look I got, out for it, man. I got, I got to get you on that one though. No lie. <laughs> for sure, for sure, but you know, get a kind of a sneak peek. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you know, you know, uh you know, I do want a relationship, but right now, I don't think I'm ready yeah. mentally, and you know, financially and all this because I don't, I never really had a job, yeah. and plus I don't got a car and none of that. So how, so how can I? Manage a relationship without a car and without a job. That's <laughs> to me. That's kind of hard because, yeah. like you know, I I want to I want to take my girl to, to places, different places. I want to give give her things that you know that will you know make her happy throughout the relationship. But if I don't got <laughs> none of those things, then how can I do that? I I want to say something about that. Are you? I kind of disagree when it comes to like you don't have a job. College is pretty much a job, you know, like because well, yeah. like you got to wake up at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? You have to take care of certain things at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like even though you may not have like, actually have a job, we get paid. College is pretty much our job. You know, so we we're 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 working on to achieve a certain thing, a certain goal, which mm-hmm. is getting that that degree. Right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? And once we get that degree, you know, and now we now we try and get paid. You know right. what I'm saying? We got or get paid and also use expand on our knowledge on uh, how to have how to have a qualitative income. You know, some of the one income. You know what I'm saying? So I view, uh, you know, I feel college as, as as a job as a job, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, because you know, it really is. You know, in some ways, it really is a job, man. No lie. Yeah. You know, so I, I think you should think of it like that, man. Cause like, cause it is a job, man, and that's not hard. There's a lot of people that would rather quit, but you still grind. You still, yeah, man. You know, so you still, you still, you know, saying wake up at a certain time, doing this at a certain time, man. Make sure you're doing this right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying, and and you still could be consistent. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So men don't, don't ever, don't ever say that, man. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, I'll just say, man, keep, keep working, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because it's eventually gonna pay off, man. And you already, and you know what I'm saying? What's it called? You're already in, in the tenth round, man. You go you got you got two more rounds to go, man. You're in the tenth round, bro. You got two more rounds to go, bro. Hey, man. That's a boxing reference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm saying. I gotta, I gotta fight. I gotta fight. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and um, just uh, piggyback on what what you said about that. You just also a sneak peek, and then we don't you know, talk, talk to somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Um, you you said that you know. You, you know, you don't have this and that, right? Yeah. I'm here I'm here to tell you right now, bro. The girl that 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 you need your life, not one, but need, that's a difference. Yeah. She's not necessarily gonna she 
care about that. You mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that's not really what a relationship is really all about. That's cool. That's for like the, the fun talk. That's for fun. You know what I'm saying? You right. know, like, oh, I got this way with me. Right. I, I'm getting this X amount of money. That's you know that's that's you know that's a bit that's a benefit. But right. being in a relationship is talk is having those um uncomfortable conversations. Yeah. Or tough conversations. Right. And how we're gonna deal with them. Mm-hmm. I have these uh I have I have that you you know just two. I have them with you know, with my you know, with my girl. You know, yeah. so we have we have our, our moments. Mm-hmm. And it's my job to one make sure Whenever we're having a disagreement, one, I keep myself in check. Yeah. Whenever I myself in check, I say, I don't lash out because she says something. You know, so I don't lash out because she says something that might be hurtful. You know what I'm saying? I can tell her, hey, I, don't, I ain't like that, what you said, and I suffer, but, and, you know, uh, and, um, and, and all that, but I always got myself, myself in check. And two, man, what is the, what is the best, I won't say the best, but, What's the best solution to you know to resolve it, and how can we and how can we take care of it? You know what I'm saying. Um, that's really what a relationship is too, man. You know, you got right. her back and she got your back. That's what you know. It's it's a commitment. You know what I'm saying. Because mm-hmm. you know you're gonna have highs and lows. You know and all that, man. That's what I thought. That's wanted to give you that, man. You know what I'm saying. That's what a relationship is, man. Appreciate it. But um, man, uh, that's a wrap for this episode of Next Gen Podcast, man. Uh, once again, man, Josh, man, appreciate you for coming through, bro. You know, I really appreciate you for coming for the one time, man. Hey, hey, man, I had a good time too. Learned a lot of things, man, and you know, felt comfortable expressing myself. And so, yeah. hey, man, I recommend coming to this podcast, bro. Just express yourself, and tell you what's on your mind, because. Anyone is free to talk. Everybody got a free speech. Right. Yeah, this is a free, uh, uh, it's a free platform, man. You know, what I'm saying even if you're at PV, that's even good too, man. Mm-hmm. Just DM me at Griffo underscore Kid, and you know, uh, you won't be a get. You won't, you'll appear in the podcast. I know. That I'll let you know. We, we get we get to it, man. And uh, where can it find you, man? Hey, man, go to my Instagram htx dot underscore dot Fontano. All lowercase, spell F O N T N O T. And yeah, man, that's it. That's wrap for this episode, man. Catch y'all on the next one. All right.